G'day folks, it's Cortez Arino, and today I'm going to show you how to build this Japanese garden tea house. And in a previous video I discovered that two of my chunk builds fit together very nicely, so I've designed this tea house to fit in with those two as well. So we've got a much bigger area and you just know I'm going to go and do the fourth one there so, so we can make a nice little square. And in case you're curious, this is how the build looks without shaders. Alrighty, that's enough talking, let's get started. And the first thing I want to point out is this square I've got here is not a 16 by 16. This is an 18 by 18. We're just marking out the 16 by 16 area. So this diorite is not actually part of the build. It just uh, it just helps to know where you're putting things when we're building this, but after you're done, you'd get rid of it. So you can begin by marking out an 18 by 18 square if you want to, or you can if you think you can build it without it, then just leave it out. And for the purposes of the tutorial, uh, if I ever say come to the front of the build, this side is going to be the front, okay? So we're going to start at the front and look toward the back right hand corner and what we're going to do is skip a block diagonally from the corner and then place a slab and now swing around to the back of our build so this is the back next to the slab we're going to put a spruce stair then one two three slabs another stair then we're going to dig into the ground place a stripped spruce log and put a slab on top of that and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five blocks from there, and one, two, three, four, five blocks from there. And we're going to put spruce planks into these. And once you've done that, on the ends, we can come around to the front again. We're just going to dig out this line of blocks. We're going to put stripped spruce logs on the ends. And then looking from this direction, we're going to put upside down spruce stairs. All the way along there and then just finish with two spruce slabs on the logs okay looking from the front we're going to place two spruce logs there with planks in between and then coming toward the front we're going to put three slabs and then with spruce stairs we're going to look in that direction place one look in that direction place another and slabs in between then we're going to dig out these blocks right here in the corners we are going to put redstone lamps and then looking from the front again we're going to place planks on each side and then you can grab levers just pop them in there and switch them on. Okay I've marked a bunch of blocks with lapis here and what I want you to do is everywhere where there's a lapis block just dig out that grass block. So pause the video right here and dig all of those out. And once you've removed those blocks, we're going to do the same thing again. So I've marked out a bunch more blocks. Just go ahead and dig out those. And just underneath our upside down spruce stairs, there are five blocks right there. Also dig those out. Okay, grab some sandstone and come into here. We're going to place one right there and two right there. Now come over to this end. We're going to go one there, another one one down the diagonal, then skip two blocks and place another. Okay, now we're going to switch to sand and we're going to go one, two, three, and then smooth sandstone slabs. We're going to put four like that, then another one, two more, then back to sand. We're going to go one, two, three, then our smooth slab again, and then smooth sandstone stairs. And everywhere in this little ring, we're going to dig that out. You won't have bedrock there, but I'm in a flat world, so that's why it looks like that. We're just going to fill that in with sand. Now, the next step is this lower level that we've dug out. We're just going to fill in all of this with sand, except for inside our little, our little divot that we just made there. And that's how you should be looking when you're done, guys. So now I want you to look at the materials list and grab all of these stone blocks, put them in your inventory because we're going to be using them right now to cover up this layer of dirt down here. So we're going to start in this corner. 
what I want you to do is grab some stone, we'll go two right there, cobblestone stair in the middle, then two gravel, then andesite slab, andesite with cobble, we'll put in three of them like that, and up here we'll put two cobble slabs, stone block, and two stone slabs. Then we're going to go a mossy cobble slab with mossy cobble behind it, then gravel, andesite stair, cobblestone stair, then we'll do another andesite stair, but we're going to look in this direction and place it so it curves around, and then we'll go andesite, stone, mossy cobblestone, gravel, and we're going to put a stone button on the gravel. And in front of our andesite block, we'll put an andesite slab with another andesite beside it, cobblestone, cobblestone slab, mossy cobblestone, and we'll put another mossy cobblestone there with a slab beside it. Okay, then we'll go a cobble, andesite, stone, mossy cobble, gravel, then we'll do another stone, and then look in this direction, we'll do an andesite stair, then a cobble stair. Now on top of this grass block, we'll place an andesite slab, we'll put stone blocks on either side of that, and mossy cobble on the sides of those. Now in front of our slab, we're going to put a cobble block with a gravel there, and then we'll put a mossy cobble slab, and an andesite slab, and then grab your button, look from this direction, we'll place it right there. And then diagonally from this mossy cobble, we're going to put a gravel, and another one on the diagonal with a cobblestone in between them, and then I'll put an andesite there, then one, two stone blocks, and a mossy cobble. Now grab some cobblestone stairs, look from this direction, we'll place it right there, then two cobble slabs, then andesite stairs, we're going to look toward our tea house, place him right there with an andesite slab beside it. And diagonally from our mossy cobble, we're going to put a gravel there, and another one over there, then we'll go stone, cobblestone, and andesite. Then cobblestone stairs, looking toward our tea house, we'll place him right there, andesite slab, and on the last bit of dirt, a stone slab. And that's the border to our pond all done. So the next step is just to fill it all in with water. And we'll start down the bottom here. And just make sure you waterlog all your slabs and stairs. So that's a good place to start. Just go ahead, waterlog all of them. And same thing up here. You can start by waterlogging all the edges here. And then just go ahead and fill all of it in with water. And of course, don't forget to waterlog your upside down spruce stairs. Okay, now it's time to get to work on our tea house and we're using all spruce wood here. So on top of the stripped logs, we're going to place three more logs on each side. On the inside here, we're going to place three fences on each side with a fence gate in between. Now just on the sides of our logs, we're going to place four fences, so four there and four here, then swing around to the back and we'll put an extra fence poking out on each side. And we're going to hang lanterns from these and then two slabs right up the top. And then come around to the front and with slabs at the top of these logs, we're gonna put three there and one, two, three right there and then upside down stairs on the ends of these looking like that guys and then we'll just put an extra slab on the ends and then we're going to connect those slabs with spruce trapdoors so just hold shift while you place those then staying with our trapdoors on top of the stairs here we'll put one flick it up and one coming down on that side and same here whoops wrong spot trapdoor and trapdoor now on this side here, just holding shift again on the backs of these trapdoors, we're going to put four fences going up with one out toward the front. And I'll just grab a lantern and we'll hang it right there. And on this side, the same thing, except we're also going to put a fence on top of that andesite block. So we'll go one, two, three, four, one out toward the front with a lantern hanging down. And then grab spruce trapdoors and we're going to go one, two, three, four. And on that last block, we're just going to put a flower pot with a cornflower. 
And staying with our flower pots, we're going to come around to this side, place one on top of the gravel with a bit of bamboo, and then keep going around. Next to this slab, we're going to break that block, put in a mossy cobblestone, flower pot on top, and one of these white flowers, and keep going around. On this little gap here between our fences, just put four orange candles, and you can go ahead and light them up. Now we're going to come inside our tea house and just above our dirt and the two levers there we're going to put three spruce slabs. On top of the lanterns we're going to put cakes. These are the cushions for our little tea table. Now here you've got two choices. You could do spruce stairs like this in this little gap. Just like that and then put one, two, three trapdoors on top. That's a nice looking table, but just to add a bit of colour and make it a bit more interesting, I'm actually going to use bells. So I'll look from the sides when I place them. Boom, like that. So we've got the legs of the table and a nice flash of golden colour. Now come around to the side where our bamboo is and we're going to put two acacia fences there and another two and then we're going to make some path blocks. So we're going to leave that bit of grass next to the mossy cobble but everything else, turn them into path blocks. Just to the left of our flower pot, we'll replace that block with gravel, replace this one with rooted dirt, then we'll put a jack-o'-lantern in the ground with some brown carpet on top, and then we'll go two coarse dirt, and then one right on the end. Then in here we'll put two rooted dirt, right there we'll put another jack-o'-lantern with brown carpet. And right next to our carpet, we're going to put a cobblestone slab on top of the grass, but then we'll break the next three and put in gravel, mossy cobble, and rooted dirt. We'll put three spruce fences in there, and then just put two temporary blocks right there, and we'll put a chain on top of that one, and then you can break those. Just underneath the chain, we'll do a flower pot. Whoops, wrong spot. Get rid of that with a flowering azalea. And staying on this side, I want you to come up the top here and right in the middle, we're going to put a jack-o'-lantern with a dark oak trapdoor on its face with brown mushroom blocks on each side. And then we'll swing around to the opposite wall and we'll do the exact same thing. So jack-o'-lantern, trapdoor and the mushroom blocks. Now on the inside of our building, we're going to put upside down spruce stairs against our jack-o'-lanterns with an oak trapdoor in between and holding shift we'll put another jack-o'-lantern on top and then we'll just do two dirt blocks that we dug out a little bit earlier we'll put two there and two there and then grab some spruce slabs and just at the tops of our brown mushroom blocks we're going to put three in between them on that side and three in between right there okay now we're going to do the roof for our tea house and this is exactly the same at the front end of the back. So I've done the front already. We will do the back together. So come along to this fence with the lantern on it. We'll put a polished deep slate slab on top. And then one just down on the diagonal. Then we'll go a polished deep slate block. Then grab the deep slate brick stairs. We'll place one upside down against the mushroom and then a polished stair on top of that. And we'll do the same from this direction. So slab, slab, then block, upside down brick stair, and then a polished stair. Then we'll go back to our polished slabs. Down the bottom, we'll just run these all the way along. And then it's all dark oak. We'll go dark oak slabs across here. Then dark oak blocks and then dark oak stairs up the top. Now just in the middle here against the dirt we'll do the polished stair upside down and the exact same thing on this side and then it's pretty easy starting on top of the stair we'll put our polished slabs and just run them all the way along. Okay now we're going to start putting in our plants and we'll start next to this flower pot over here so we'll put a jungle leaf on the gravel then some grass then we'll go bamboo skip a block place another with a jungle leaf in between and for these two blocks here we want some temporary blocks so we'll go two dirt and another two again and again so they're four blocks tall the one on the right we'll put some string 
The one on the left will go two more dirt and then a string and then just go ahead and break all of your dirt and you can plant bamboo there and then you can either let them grow or you can bone meal them. So those will be at that height and the roof of our tea house will stop those two growing. And we'll keep going around in a circle. So next to our cobblestone slab, we're going to put two jungle leaves. Then we'll put a fern there and bone meal it to make it a large fern. Then just after our stairs, we're going to put two acacia fences. On the grass block, we'll put some grass. Then two jungle leaves. In the corner, we want temporary blocks again. And we're going to put four of them with string on top and break those. You can plant a bamboo and bone meal him. And turning the corner, we're going to go grass and then grass with jungle leaves in between. And then grab some sea pickles and we'll put three on that cobble. And keep looking in the direction that I'm looking now. So behind our sea pickles on this cobble block, we're going to put a cauldron with an anvil on top and then holding shift, we'll place a lantern on top of that. Now this works for Java Edition, I think on Bedrock you can't put a lantern there. But what you can do is just put a sea lantern or a jack-o'-lantern on top and surround it in trapdoors. So now we're going to come along here and just after our bendy stair, we're going to put two acacia fences, a flower pot on the cobble with an ox eye daisy, then grab some jungle leaves, we'll put one on the grass there, then one in the water, and then staying in the water we'll put two there, and another. We'll put one on top of the mossy cobble, and one diagonally behind that, and then swing around to this corner here. So not on the block right in the corner, but the one just to the left. Place another jungle leaf. And we're going to do some more bamboo, so we'll need our temporary blocks. So starting here, we're going to place five of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, with string on top. Behind this last jungle leaf we placed, we're going to put four. One, two, three, four, with our string. And to the right of that jungle leaf, we're going to place six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our string, and then get rid of your dirt. Okay, so just where those columns were, we're going to plant our bamboo and then either let them grow or bone meal them up. So when you're done, you'll be looking like that. Now grab a pink tulip, we'll place one there, and then crimson roots will go there, and then another one right there with grass next to our button. Okay, so now we're going to swing around and look at it from this direction. And we're going to begin just on this bit of stone here. We're going to place a flower pot with an allium, or whatever they're called, the purple round flower. And then on this stone block right here, we're going to put an acacia fence. And this is going to be four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. And then one sticking out in this direction. And we'll hang a lantern from that. And then we'll put acacia trapdoor. So looking the same way I'm looking, we'll place one there. And then another one right there. Now, just to the left of this pole, we are going to place another flower pot. This one's going to have a dead bush inside. And then just placing against the fence some flowering azalea leaves. Okay, now you can turn to your right. Over near where our button is, there's that bit of gravel there. Just on the diagonal, we're going to put an andesite wall in the water with a lantern on top. Now, just the other side of that slab, we'll put jungle leaves. Then on the diagonal, another one, and one on top of that mossy cobble. Now, in this corner, we're going to knock out those three grass. We'll put rooted dirt in the corner with coarse dirt either side. Then a jungle leaf in the corner. We'll put a lilac there, and some grass, and then two acacia fences. And finally, come along to our bamboo in the flower pot. We'll put jungle leaves on top of the cobble and two in the water. And now we're going to do the plant life for inside of our pond. And we're going to begin over near our cauldron and anvil. So look down at this andesite block. Holding shift, place a trapdoor against the top half of that block. And then a warped trapdoor after that. And you can break the first one. And still holding shift, we're going to place brain coral on top of that. And because the trapdoor is waterlogged, 
that will stay pink. And then we'll just put a lily pad on each side. And then we'll do one more of these. So look over here at our cobblestone stairs. We'll do the same thing. Temporary trapdoor, another one, break that. And you put your brain coral on top. Now, this set does not work on Bedrock Edition, but I've read in a comment, I don't know if this is true, that you can put a warped fence there and the brain coral will go on top of that. That doesn't work in Java Edition, so I can't even test it for you. But give it a go if you're on Bedrock. And then all we do is put our lily pads around. And now we're going to place some sea pickles. So look over to this fence right here. In front of the left fence, we're going to put two sea pickles in the water. Turn to this fence here. In front of the right-hand fence, we're going to put three sea pickles. And turn again. In front of this andesite stair, we're going to put two sea pickles. Now look back over here where we've got these two bushes on the diagonal. Just continuing on the diagonal, we're going to put a green glass pane and diagonally to the right, we're going to put another one with an extra on top. And then we're just going to put sea pickles on top of these and these are little cattails. Now on bedrock, this doesn't work. So what you can do on bedrock is place your glass pane with a green candle on top and that looks pretty similar. I'm not sure how it works on bedrock. You may have to put a temporary block, then the candle, break that, then put the glass pane in. Not sure, but uh, that's uh, that's your option. And now it's time for seagrass. So look over toward your anvil again. And just down here, we're going to put two seagrass and bone meal those ones so they're nice and tall. Now where we've got our upside down spruce stairs in the water, on the left and most stair, we're just going to put seagrass in front of that. Next to our sea pickles over here, more seagrass. And over here where we've got these sea pickles, either side of that mossy cobble slab, we'll place two more. And over where we've got our oxeye daisy in the flower pot, we're going to place a seagrass there. Then one, two, and one right there, just diagonally out from that tall cattail. And then turn toward the back of our pond, and right up here we're going to go one, two, seagrass. And then over here near our bushes, another two. And just like that, guys, your garden tea house is 100% complete. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to find my other chunk build tutorials what I'll do is I'll make a playlist on my channel so you can scroll down and find chunk builds there and you can find all my cool designs. So thanks for watching again guys, I'm Cortezarina and I'll see you later.